Welcome back, guys, to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So in the last episode, we... The last episode, we took on the boss at the Snow Peak Ruins, also known as the little Yeti, the mansion that the Yetis own. It, it, I don't know, that mansion does seem a little nice, but at the same time, really, really, really old for Yeti to own. So we beat the, we beat the boss for the Snow Peak Ruins which was actually the female Yeti, which I think her name is Yetta. And most importantly, the cold never bothered me anyway. I'm sorry, folks. I just had to make a reference to that song because for some reason, it, this this part of the game just made me think it. Just made me think of that song. Okay, hold on a sec, folks. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go ahead we're gonna go ahead and let's see. All right, there's some. We're gonna go ahead and try and get some more goodies now. As you can see, we're pretty low on rupees, and we need 400 more in order to pay that one guy, that, that one guy in Malo Martin, Martin Kakariko Village, in order to fix that bridge. Not only will we be able to fix that bridge that's actually near Castletown, but we will also be able to move Malamar to Castletown. And we only, and we need 400 rupees, like we need to donate a thousand rupees, and I, so far I donated 600, so now I'm trying to get up to 400. Are right, I gonna go ahead and use the ball and chain to break the ice? Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into my wolf form. Oh, I need my senses as well. Alright, so we got another postal. Right now I'm going to go ahead and... Hang on just a sec. Alright, now now we have these two we have these two lanterns available, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my lantern so I can light them. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lantern away, so that way we don't waste any oil. So now we have a total of 100 rupees. So we're, so we're at least, yeah, we're, we're more than halfway closer to getting up to 400 rupees. Let's see, where do I want to go? All right, you know what? Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and just let's see. What do I want to do next? Now I'm gonna go ahead and warp to just go around Hyrule Field and look for more rubies and stuff, and possibly even more more post cells as well. Cause I think there are some posts. Cause we'll also along with finding rubies. At the Adzor's domain, we'll, we'll probably also be able to find. I mean, wait, what am I trying? Okay, along with tr finding more rupees here at Adzor's domain, there there should be some poles around here that we haven't gotten yet. So let's just go ahead and start breaking, gra cutting grass, grass around to try and find more rupees. Oh, I see a lantern.
gonna go ahead and go or back to Zora's domain or the southern part of Zora's domain. So far, I'll just stay in my wolf form. See, I wonder what would happen if I lit, lit those two, those two tor those two lanterns, or torches. I think whatever. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not a lantern, that's just a bug. But it's already been taken care of. Oh, but okay, but there is a po, 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 po. Dang it, not a po. All right, so we got a red rupee. Now, now, I now it's time to go ahead and take out another. Oh wait, no, wait. Have we, have we caught that? Have we caught that insect yet? Let's try and pick it up. All right, so we got a dragonfly. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go to back. We're gonna go ahead and go to Agatha's, and hopefully she can give us. She can give us some more bugs. She can give us some more rubies or some other cool stuff from there. Two letters. I wonder if you get any, if you get anything, any rupees or a piece of heart from reading them. Because I know you do, you do get, you do get, you do get either a heart or some rupees in Wind Waker after you read the letters that you receive.
All right, so now let's go ahead and go back and go to Agatha's. Doesn't seem much of a castle to me. I don't know why it's called, called a castle, but we are in Castle Town. So in a way, I guess that would make a slight bit of sense, but... So let's go ahead and give her our bugs. <laughs> Alright, so we got a hundred... A hundred rupees. And now we have more than 400, but let's go ahead and keep giving her some more bugs, because... Because after we move Malomar to... After we move Malamar to Castletown, we can get the magic armor. But I'm afraid that will probably cost some money. So it's a good thing we're getting some rubies ahead of time. Rubies ahead of time. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got her. Alright, we're still not done yet. Alright, so we got a hundred rupees. Now we're almost kind of close, or more than halfway up to getting back to a thousand rupees. Alright, so... So yeah, so now we've given her all of our bugs that we have that we have at the moment, that we have at the moment. So now we're gonna go ahead and continue our search for more rupees. Yep, Castletown sure is quiet at night. Go ahead and take that. Oh wait. Uh, okay, I think we're already at the maximum amount of rupees at the moment. So I'm. Let's see. No ma Looks like Malomard's probably not open at the moment. So I really, really don't know what to do now. To be honest, maybe just continue to wander around, you know? Wait, maybe there's... I think I see a bug up there. So I'll go ahead and grab this, see if we've got it. Alright, now we're gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Agatha's now and... Give her that bug. Because, you know, we could go... Yeah, so it looks like the maximum amount of rupees... Oh, wait, wait. No, we can't go to... Ag we can't get any more rupees, so... Oh, no, really. Maybe just continue to wander around, you know? Wait a minute, I think there's another, there's a Poe we need to take care of at Zora's Domain, so maybe we can go ahead and do that.
now we're gonna go back up to that house and grab one of those those little chickens. I can tell he has way too much fun with that thing. <laughs> Huh. If I ever did that in real life, I would at least like to have something soft to land on her. Something soft to fly into, if I ever did that in real life. Because other than that, it would be super fun. So now let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Alright, so... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, uh, gosh darn it. Okay. Looks like sunrise is coming, so... We are probably not going to be able to to get that Poe at the moment, but we could still get some. I think we could still get some more root cup, more rupees. If I can catch one of these. I'd love to do this in real life, though. Yep, so that Poe is no longer available at the moment. <laughs> but at least we got some more rupees, which has kind of been one of my main goals, one of my missions for this episode is just to get more rubies. Asleep. This is one of the songs I fall asleep to at night. Again, I just love sightseeing in, on, in this place. But I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this video for now. In the next episode, we're going to do the side quest where we where we donate that money uh, to that one guy in Mallow Mart and try and get that bridge fixed. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, alright? Alright, thanks guys. Alright, bye.